All right, guys, let's continue down deep into Vault 114, so where we need Why to save Mr. Nick Valentine. This place is like the opposite of airtight. Because they weren't planning to use it, you moron. We used to pull this kind of gun all the time back before the war. Get a bunch of Union boys to work some construction job that would go nowhere. Keep everyone on payroll. Dogman, get over here. Men are talking. You don't imp interrupt a man when he's speaking to another man. Don't you know the rules? The rules of the jungle? You should know. You're an animal. And also, the rules of the jungle say that only the strongest survive. Now, that guy didn't survive because my bullet was a lot harder than his head. Speaking of survival of the fittest, I'm not hitting my target. I should be dead by now. But hey, I got... I have grace on my side. I have the old lady luck. And she is a wonderful mistress. Hopefully I can get to Mr. Valentine's a little bit quick. Because I don't know. I don't know how big this vault is. It seems bigger than a standard vault. Now, when I say standard vault, I'm going by Vault 101. Vault 101 had probably like two stories tops, if I remember correctly. This place seems a lot bigger. And the vault that we came out of, Vault 111, jeez, I don't remember where I came up, came from. That was just a tiny vault, because it was one of those uh, cryogenic vaults, so it, it didn't need all the space for kitchens and living spaces. You just, they just threw me in a freezer. That one wasn't all that big. Boosh. I heard something, dog meat. Do not go out there. Tommy, get your ass over here. I wish they gave you an option. You know, back in New Vegas where you had the option. If if you used a companion Not where they tonight. would be docile or they or you could turn them to attack an enemy. Dogmeat just does what he wants cuz he's a renegade. Which is fine. But sometimes you got to you got to heed my commands, Dogmeat. You can't just go on and bite somebody. You're like the worst dog in real life. You would be so put to sleep by now. You can't just go randomly fight somebody. You gotta get a license. You gotta do it in Vegas. There's one guy left. So we'll just hold our ground here. Oh, there he is. And of course I would miss that last shot. There we go. Whoa, I didn't even realize that I only have four bullets left for my sniper rifle. Wow, I've, I've been shooting up the place. I could have swore I had a lot more bullets. Eh, I still got... 12 plus 253 in my pocket for my 10 millimeter. That isn't bad at all, but sniper rifle gives you that oh so nice accuracy, blows somebody's head off. So I need to be economical with my sniper rifle now because four bullets can get the job done if the bullet goes through three people at the time. Ooh, it could be an it could be a magical ice bullet. You know that mythical bullet that took down one of our great presidents? You know that myth mythical bullet that can just turn? Yeah, those are real. Yeah, believe me. They're real! Enchantments! World of Warcraft, I say. They were playing World of, War World of Warcraft before you even knew you could play World of Warcraft on computers. Which you could! It was a board game, I remember. It was a board game. No, you're you're 
you you were thinking of EverQuest. No! Not EverQuest. I don't think people play EverQuest anymore. Only well, only the hard of hardcore play that game. EverQuest where you're what was it? Your your avatar in the game would not stop. It would be in the actual game and it could get robbed, so you had to put it in a safe place like a house or something. You can just leave it in a field. When you log out, what I meant is when you log out, your your avatar would still be there. I think that was a request. Back to Fallout 4, because we don't want to get confused and talk about, oh, you know that one time when we were playing EverQuest? No, we're, we're in the vault fighting goons and and ghouls that are goons. Oh, dog meat's fighting one of them. So that will give me a chance to hack him. Ow! Man, I keep forgetting to use my machete more often. Man, I do love my machete. Actually, it's very fun when you use it. A machete with power armor. It just makes you so much more powerful and you feel like you're on top of the world. Is it a stealth boy or something? Won't work. No, no, I'm not using a stealth boy. And I'm trying to be stealthy with my character that that he's not that very stealthy at all. It's just an old habit of mine I have. Don't sue me. No punitive damages here, please. Hmm. You know what? I'm going to turn the tables on these goons. I'm going to use their own weapon. <laughs> I'm going to use their own weaponry. I was just going to say, I'm going to use their own wet naps against them. Like, but what the hell would that do? It'll slightly clean them a little bit. Yeah. I'm going to use their own weaponry against them. Oh, I thought if I was hidden, I could use their bed, their bed to use as health recovery. But I can't, but I can't until I kill whoever's around me. All right, down the shaft. Yes, we should. I should make a, that's what she said joke, but I don't think people make those anymore. Ooh, ooh, that kind of that kind of felt good. That kind of felt good in my hands. Oh, okay. Let's check out their terminal here. Welcome employees. After many months of preliminary construction, we are pleased to welcome members of the technical and scientific staff to our newest addition to the Vault Tech. I think I've read this already. Yeah, I did read this already. This is just the same thing I've read. And this is where they say that they're going to put the poor families with the rich families and they're gonna have a a volt overseer that's uh anti-authority or anti-authority yeah i've read that already so it's, it's a very weird experiment because we all know in nature there are people who rise above and there are people who go below it's just it's just a fact not men, all men are not created equal. If all men were created equal, I would have a kick-ass voice and a kick-ass and I would have a kick-ass music career, but I don't cuz you know, my voice is good and I appreciate my own voice. But it isn't star quality, I would say, yeah. I'm not making millions off my voice. And there are some people who can play Mortal Kombat X better than I can. And I'm super jealous because I practice all the time and I don't do as well as they do. But that's their talent. They're a lot more better than me. See, what I'm saying is... Well, my friend told me this. He said, some people just do things a lot better than other people. Like, so I questioned my friend. I was like, oh yeah? 
what if you're a crackhead? He's like, well, if you're a crackhead, you better be the best crackhead you can be. He kind of shocked me. He's like, but don't you not want to be a crackhead? He's like, if you're going to smoke crack, you might as well be the best. And he had a point there. It's like, oh, that's, that's a good point. If you're going to do it, you do it properly. All right. All right, I'm going to stop talking about that. Be like, oh, Crocodile wants people to become crackheads all of a sudden. Ugh, what's wrong with him? I'm just saying. Let's just take care of Dino here. No, that's bad. I can't afford to be wasting bullets. Now I have one left. So, we're going to use his gun against him. Get him, dog meat. You can do it. Wait a minute. I'm panicking. I was trying to get the machete out. We got him, dog meat. We got him. Now we can go back to the submachine gun. Alright, we got a key. But before we use this key on anything, let's go around and scavenge what we can scavenge. Hopefully, maybe a unique weapon. Possibly a unique piece of clothing. Possibly that clothing will have like three charisma or four charisma. I want my charisma up high. That's what I that's what I'm coveting right now. I want my I want the most charisma my my character can get because I like it and maybe strength too maybe because I do love I do love picking my nose a lot and that that requires a lot of strength because they're stuck up in there and sometimes I gotta use the little weird scraping tool you know it, it looks like a tongue, tongue scraper but you stick it in your nose yeah so that's why I need a ton of strength and I'll take these beakers with me. Oh, excuse me, test tubes. Take that. So, how far am I into this vault? I don't... I don't think I'm even near this Mr. Valentine's. He has a nice name, Mr. Valentine's. He's probably like hideous or something. He has a cool name, but he's probably an abomination unto the Lord. But he has a he has a great name. He probably has a good per good personality. He's like, oh, don't don't make fun of Valentine's. He has a good personality. Don't call him an abomination unto the Lord. He's a good person. He's good at he has a heart of solid gold. That's it. And that counts as something, right? Something. Well, yes, it does. I don't know who you are, but we got three minutes before they realize muscles for brains ain't coming back. Get this All right, Skinny Maloons. I forgot the name of their gang for just a second. Like, who's coming after me? The uh, Goon Squad? Like, no, Skinny Maloons is coming after you. How could I forget Skinny Maloons? Because I nick my nickname myself Pork Chop Hambone. Yeah, that's me. The rebel of the, the, the east. Ah, my knight in shining armor. Question is, why does he come all this way? Risk life and limb. An old private eye. I'm tracking a murderer. The bastard who shot my wife. My son. I don't even have a clue who he is or, or where he's gone. So you need a little angel of vengeance, huh? Well, I don't usually go after blood money, but I guess I can make an exception. I've been cooped up in here for weeks. Turns out the runaway daughter I came here to find wasn't kidnapped. She's Skinny Malone's new flame. And she's got a mean streak. Anyway, you got troubles, and I'm glad to help. But now ain't the time. Let's blow this joint. Then we'll talk. 
Yeah, but before we do that, Nick Valentine, I did see that one thing on that desk. I'm gonna get it, and hopefully it's a shrink bobblehead. That's what I'm looking for, or or a charisma. I could always go for the charisma. Are you talking to me, Nick Valentine? Because I'm not paying attention to you at all. Oh, it's a speech bobblehead. I get, I get a hundred caps more at a vendor or permanently something hundred caps. This is Vault Tech interview number eighty-seven for the position of overseer for Vault One Hundred and Fourteen. The candidate has refused to give his real name and has only provided the name the Sukin Harry. That's right. I ain't telling you nothing. My name is the name I call myself, not the rank and number the government brands on me. No, sir. Fascinating, Mr. Um, Sukin, would you mind telling me why you're distrustful of the government? I've seen what they do. Come up the works with red tape and bureaucracy? Take every hard-earned cent and use it to fund their 